First vis of the year. Let's get into it. Yeah, this was definitely a map Ken absolutely fried on. His POV was insane on this map. We win the break off pretty fucking clean. Honestly, this is, I mean, this is just super clean. Like, all you have to do on, like, if you're able to win the break, or if you're able to win the break from this side, as long as you're able to, like, hold L and hold mid, like, it is so hard for this other team to re-break back on in. That's what you see a lot of times in, um, what's it called? A lot of times in the second rotation, like second P1, you see this being held for a lot of time just because of like, if you're able to hold it from a specific side and get a setup, like, and that's what you're able to do really with a, like a four down like that. You're able to get a four down, you're able to actually get into setup. It can be really hard to break back on in. Now we're just covering every lane. Like, look at, look at what we're looking at. We're watching literally every single lane for everything that they can possibly take, and we're just getting every kill for it. They finally break back in, and they hit the, the rails, but they also get a kill, uh, like, towards mid. But it's because we only had one guy in time, so we couldn't trade him out. We are kind of just playing for everything, and I guess we could have just stayed closer to the hill there, but it's whatever. Kills on old. Kills on holds are huge. Like, and getting this two piece on old makes sure. Like, first off, we know last two guys are towards time or around the time at, at like, and we don't have to worry about our P1. Plus, if we are able to break back on in, being P1 is, is a really big area of like being in a power position because you can cut off from P1. You can, you know, make sure you have a good rotation in the next P3 if you can stay hit in there or like just stay in that position the entire time we get the last guy live burger we know all of them are spawning a lot spawning out we're soaking time we end up do dying on time who is that ken dies on time maybe overheated but he was challenging that regardless even if he he loses the gunfight he's still going to spawn back up and he can refill top burger for us anyways uh, the, the funny thing was like honestly going into this map I think the P2s were the one area that we were lacking on this map compared to like everything else and I felt like we did have some pretty decent P2s. At least this first one was really good. I think that just happens because of how good of our start was though. See what Ken here does? Like he gets the kill mid and he's still playing towards P1. He knows 15 seconds left, they could hit through front here. So he's just making sure that like the rotation is clear, but he can also like watch their mid and at least get some info there, like just by turning. Immediately, the only player from Miami anywhere near the Honestly, these first three rotations were just super clean. First to the hill, get kills like towards the hill. We know where they're spawning for the whole time. This is not great. We could have probably played this a little bit better. Ken's the only one here in the back. It, it's really hard in this situation because you get the kill towards Burger here, boom, and you don't think they're gonna like once again go and hit towards the back, but they do. So we only have Ken here at the at the stairs. We're we're more focused towards their front side, especially once we see number two here. We get this info. We don't expect. I don't think they're expecting three of these other guys to, to hit around here through the back even with like 40 seconds left rather than just you know being off a of p2 Let's see how their ground game goes so far a wonderful hold on p's one and two over to the third hill now in our Rio so that could have been better but and himself he does kind of the same exact thing on the other side he gets a kill tower stairs breaks the spawn we get a kill towards front they're spawning out now we can converge on in yeah, we basically did the exact same thing that they did to us, which is funny. And since we're able to break back on in, this is huge because the P4, obviously, you want to keep that same back spawn. So we just, we keep this spawn and we can just chill here for the next minute. Have one guy in time, have one guy watch our back left. We watch it actually get killed for it but ant goes for a trade okay well doesn't get the trade brandon's staying alive here is huge though he gets a two-piece 
regardless, like, okay, we do we do die in the back here, and we die in the back Chalon Pillars. That's unfortunate, because if either one of them get the kill, it's a much easier hold, but we both go down. Brandon gets two and stays alive, but the big thing here is he at least buys some time for these guys coming off spawn to break, rather than dying instantly. But not, not so great. Yeah. Ideally, we get one of those two kills, but... That stinks. Like, honestly, this could have been an insane blowout if we hold there. That wasn't so great, though. Like, obviously, they, they push through old, push through B3. But if if either Ken or Ant gets a trade there, or at least one kill, I think we hold it. Ending, end up breaking back on him, but it's only 12 seconds. That gives them the the spawn for the back, which isn't great either. So even though we're like super up, it's it hasn't been you know clean clean. The second half is is much cleaner for sure. First off, this is this is Ken breaking from the front, which is huge because this is a good 30. He makes a play. He he like obviously he's contesting here. Team shots over here, but slides in and, and getting this guy bridge completely breaks it up. Plus number seven. AG getting this kill on the pinch. Really massive for helping this this last 30 here. And with this last 30, with us holding from this side, it sets us up for a good P1. And it's kind of like what I was talking about with the first P1, where you start holding from this P3, P4 side on P1. And you can get really set up and, and create like a, a huge money hill on this. Like we're just holding this from the front. Obviously, they still have this guy P1, but we can start. We can hit him out with some teamwork. Like Brandon at least gets the info that he's there, and now we can play for him off spawn. Try and break on them. Ken gets a huge two piece. Last guy alive in the hill. We're gonna trade him out. Boom. We get that kill. We can now so start soaking from this side. We know that they're either gonna go, you know, mid, or through like the bridge side. And they were they were going through the bridge side like a pretty decent amount, so we, we kind of play for it. Like first you want to pick up mid, obviously, because it's easier to break through mid in my opinion. Because like if, if we didn't have if we didn't send anyone mid here and he just went through mid, that's an instant break right here. So you have to like you have to carry mid first. Like that's most important. But then once you see no one coming mid or no one coming like P2 side, you know they're all like P1 bridge side. You can just play for it pretty easily. You, you can take pinches like that. Like, AG takes this pinch. And, and regardless, as long as you keep getting the trade battles, you get them all spawning out. You can soak the last 30 here. Ken, I mean, I don't know how he wins this gunfight. I guess because the guy is, like, jumping down. It's a great, great win. So they break back in an old. Regardless, we're still trading out, still actually soaking the time, and now we're going to be able to get to P2 early. Huge kill by number three over there, though. But once... This, this is the big thing. It's it's a huge kill, but because we're so, like, close together here, number seven can play for the gunfight right away. Like, that's the whole point of being near each other for trades and stuff. It's a huge, like, one-on-one -on -one mid kill. Especially on Vista, though, like, you're just going to get back into the fight real quick anyway with your teammates and trade opportunities and you can get a tri trade opportunity right here ken still wins off old so ken wins off old he doesn't get the trade opportunity because this guy backs backs away and goes to play for p1 for ken but ken's still playing here and can get this kill for free oh he actually doesn't get this kill i thought he got the kill but that opens it up for the rest of these guys to break on the hill though because we know one guy one guy died and one guy's P1, there can only be max two here. We can 3v2 the hill. So if he got that kill, it would have been super wraps for the hill. But he doesn't, and we still have to play for it. So we we just we just lose Vickel here. AG obviously shoots at him number three ken thinks he's still in like couches over here he's not he hid behind the p1 wall 
and then goes back and kills Ken. And that's the thing with uh, the score right now. The score right now, we have the opportunity to just play ahead. And even though it's 30 seconds, because of the score, we can just kind of just hard play for like P3 spawns and, and hard play for this. That's just what happens in, when you're up so much. You, like, you can take more risks like this, where you're, instead of hitting the hill, like, you're just hard playing for the spawn. And they have to worry about both. So that's what Ant was trying to do there. Win the kills at old, so regardless, we don't end up getting the spawn right away, but we get the kills off old, and now we can push through kind of how we broke the, the first time. Now they're spawning out as the hill's popping. So we basically won this rotation. There's only one guy left. We know that the one guy's on hill. Ken somehow wins a gunfight, shits on him. Big one on tower steps. He would have got traded regardless, I think, anyways, but we can now care for our front. Ken gets a kill, falls off the map. I thought he was going to get that other kill too, but quick reaction to get back on the map. They get kills around the back, so they should probably break this spawn, but again, we're, we're going to suck a full 20 here. This is a really good 20. This is a big off spawn too. And off spawn, because the doors are open, sees these two guys, he can relay that to his team. So basically the only one who needs to worry about like the back right now is Brandon, and only one guy ends up hitting it, and he hits it through the plot stairs, he can get this kill. Not plot stairs, uh, the pillar pillars stairs. Trades on in again, because Ant's off spawn. Ken gets the cruise. He knows one guy spawned out behind us. That's what these guys are playing for. He gets a kill towards Pillars. That's a huge kill for the break because now, if there was one guy playing the back, which there is, number three, he has to now worry about his front because because the Pillars guy dies, there isn't a cross setup here any uh, anymore. Like number three now has to care for it. So that opens up for number five to kill number three and these guys to just push through the front. See, like, Rial gets the kill on, on Brandon, but he instantly gets straight out because had, uh, Ken had taken this route around. And because we got those, uh, well, the, the kill with the, the streak over here and the kill on the guy spawning out, we know that they're spawning out back to P2. We can play for these spawners. That's what number six and number seven are doing here. They're playing for the, the P2 spawn out. They actually don't see him because they go long. So instead of, instead of waiting for it, like, instead of... Ant, Ant looks at this right away. He does, I, I guess he doesn't see him, so he, he doesn't chow, so he, or he realizes that they're far away, so he can try and hit this guy out, DJ. They kill the guy, DJ. We break on the hill. 40 seconds still left on the hill. And the guys both went long, so since they both went long, we still have the top burger help with, uh, with AG here. And it should be another, another 40 for us. See, the, I think the biggest thing with this map is, like, if you're going to break one of these P3s or P4s, it has to be, like, within the last five seconds of the previous hill and as the hill is popping. I think that's your, your best chance to start breaking. Otherwise, once they know where you're spawning and can actually get set up, it's very, very difficult. Like, you'll see a lot of the breaks happen as soon as, like, the hill is actually, like, about to pop or in that first wave, that first push, you know? I wish you guys could see Ken's point of view the entire time because he was, it literally looked like he had, had Warzone plates on, they couldn't kill him. Once again, trying to break from the front here. We can never get like full control over this front side though because of this guy on the bridge. But I mean, once you get that kill L, you can, now it's a team nade, but I was going to say you can converge onto the hill, but AG nades Ant here. We get the trade on Hill and now we can start soaking. I think it's kind of weird. I don't know about you chat, but I think it's kind of weird that you can soak time from the top of the, the, the bridge here. 
I think it honestly should just be the bottom and maybe like the sides. I don't know that having it be on the top and like being able to contest from the stairs kind of kind of feels weird. It's like that throwback uh, IW map, but you can you can cap from the top. Now we're just getting every kill. We can just soak the last time. They have to hit this. So now you just cut off the reinforcements. You cut off L. You cut off back office, and they have to run to hill because they lose. Break back on in. Oh, he gets a two-piece nade? I was wondering what happened. Yeah, he gets a two-piece nade on the hill. Right after that kill, I just went back to my desk. I just assumed we won. I didn't realize it took this long. I went around the the backdrops, went back to my desk, and it was over. I guess that's what happened. They got the two-piece nade. Brandon doesn't win the 101 on P1, and the ant breaks on in two-piece. He dies, but we get the trade and get back on the hill.